Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about the find a file search box that's in every document library and in every list, there's a find an item there. But the most usual thing is, of course, to search for documents. So what you do is simply put the cursor in there and search for something. So I'm going to search for customer and just press enter. And as you'll notice, I get this file here called customers. But I also get a whole bunch of other documents here. And what SharePoint does is that it searches not only the file name, but it searches also within the contents of the document. The ordering of these are not changed. They're still in the view order. So you won't get the most important one first. If you want to do that, then you search in the, the other search options. But if you search in line or search inside the document library, the order is the same as the view. So what happens here is actually a filter. To clear the search, you simply click that again and uh, remove all that. So as you notice, it's rather fast. One thing though that you need to think about when doing a search in general is that search is not instantaneous. If you upload a document and then try to search for it right away, you won't get any results. And that is because SharePoint has not yet indexed that document. So what's happening here is that it's not actually searching within the documents, it's searching within an index and that needs to be updated. In Office 365, you really don't have any control over when that happens. It happens after a while. Lately, I've had really good results. Within a couple of minutes, I can search, but that's not a guarantee. So you should count on maybe 15 minutes, maybe half an hour. It's really no way to tell yet. Microsoft might open up with that information later but for now we don't know so that's one way to search and as you notice you're searching not just for file names but everything if you want specifically the file name then you can do that file name like that and there you go now it searches specifically for what I'm searching for so this syntax with the file name or the search name what's called a managed property and then the value that you're searching for is a very powerful thing to learn I'll talk more about that in my next demo, but this gives you an introduction to searching within a document library. Thank you for watching this demonstration.